children <clears throat> welcome back to the again straight line lesson today and now i'm continue the straight line second tutorial so the yesterday <clears throat> and the last tutorial we have discussed about the uh, straight lines some qualities right so we we have already found the gradient value so when the uh, <clears throat> when the uh, two coordinates are given how to find the gradient value so now i'm going to uh, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, tell you how how to write the uh, straight line equation in proper way. So in this, this is my Cartesian coordinate x axis and y axis, right? So the <clears throat> x axis and y axis. So we have uh, several several straight lines in this Cartesian coordinate plane, right? So this is the one type of straight line which is x equal a right if if this uh, uh, x coordinate is a then the line equation is x equal a right and we have another one which is uh, passing through the point b at the y axis so perpendicular to the y axis then it will be y equal b right so this is the second type of a straight line right so the third type which is passing through the origin with some angle with some angle so this is my angle this y equal mx so this m in the gradient value then the intersection is zero okay so the next type is y equal mx plus c y equal mx plus c y equal mx plus c so m in the gradient c mean the intersection i think this this all thing uh, you have done in great 11 syllabus so y equal mx plus c is very popular one right so these are the types of a <coughs> straight lines right and uh, in uh, a level syllabus we have one more which is this one this is an, another straight line uh, which uh, i assume it intersect uh, it intersect x axis at the point c and the y axis at the point d right then the equation will be x over c plus y over d equal 1 equal 1 so this is the equation of the uh, that is straight line so the basically uh, they have provided the intersections values of the respectively c and d right? <coughs> the x coordinates intersection value is c y coordinates intersection value is d so and this is the equation of that is straight line so these are the straight lines so we have several several uh, six uh, five straight lines right five straight lines right and also in uh, uh, straight line so we have a standard formula of a straight line right so the standard formula is a straight line mean standard standard equation of a straight line which is ax plus by plus c equals zero right here a b c all are real numbers so this is the standard equation of a straight line so the assume you can assume if you have a straight line y equal 3x plus 5 so here the gradient is 3 and the intersection is 5 no so you can pull all assume it's 3 by 2 right then what you have to do you can multiply it by 2 2y equal 3x plus 10 right pull all into one side 2y minus 3x minus 10 equal to zero so this is the equation of the uh, e equation of the straight line in a standard way so the normally basically uh, <coughs> always we pull all uh, terms into one direction and the other direction uh, other constant will be zero so this is the standard way of representing a straight line right okay so this is about the equations of a straight lines right so let's move uh, how to find the equations of the straight line when the two k Two coordinates are given right okay children now I'm going to discuss the uh, equation of a straight line so assume you have a two coordinates 1 3 uh, bs minus 1 2 right so this is my a b uh, coordinates right I just need to find the equation of this uh, this straight line so I assume a is here b is here right so not the exact way this is only the uh, putting my data to the line right 1 3 minus 1 plus 2 so how to find the equation of the straight line so this is the uh, thing 
So the first of all, you have to find the gradient of this straight line. So the gradient means the y coordinate difference over x coordinate difference, no? x1 minus x2. So you can start wherever you want. So I am starting from here. 3 minus 2 over 1 minus minus 1. This is 1 and half. So this is my uh, gradient value. So it's half, right? So then I need to find the equation of that line. It is y minus y naught equal m x minus x naught. So what is this? So this is the equation of a straight line. So y y naught and x naught mean you are any coordinates that you want, right? So you can put x naught and y coordinates as a, right? Or else you can put x naught and y naught as this, right? So m mean the gradient, right? So m mean the gradient. So this is the main equation of the uh, straight line, right? So the so main equation means if you have two coordinates, so this is the way of writing the uh, equation of the uh, that straight line, right? So y minus y naught, so y minus y naught mean y minus you can take any position, any y coordinates, it's over here, over here, then it's 3, radian mean we have found it's half now, x minus x coordinates 1, so it's 2y minus 6, x minus 1, then all. I'm going to put all into one direction. 2y minus 6 minus 5 equals 0. So this is the equation of that straight line, right? Okay, I will discuss one more example. <coughs> so just assume. So just please uh, note down this. Okay, let's assume the uh, these are the two coordinates that they provided. So we need to find the equation of the uh, CD, right? So the equation of equation of CD line, right? Equation of CD line. So first of all, you have to find the gradient of CD. Gradient of CD. Y coordinate difference over x coordinate difference. Five minus minus one divided by x coordinate difference. Two minus nine. Six over minus 7 so the, this is my gradient so then i just need to find the uh, equation y minus y naught m x minus x naught right so you can put this as a x naught and y naught y minus y naught is 5 gradient it's minus 6 over 7 x minus x naught x minus 2 right so this is 7 5 35 minus 6 x plus 2 a 7y plus 6x uh, 47 equals 0. So this is the equation of that line. So this is the way of finding the uh, equation of uh, any straight line when the two coordinates are given. Okay children, let's assume another example. This is my uh, straight line, right? Uh, which is uh, intersect the y axis at point 5, x axis at point minus 3, right? So, <clears throat> how to find that uh, equation of that straight line, right? So, I told you we have a for formula x over a plus y over b equal 1. So, this is the equation of the uh, straight line which are intersecting at a and b, right? Respectively, x and y axis. So, you have to, what you have to do? You have to substitute the values minus 3 plus y over y coordinate is 5 equal to 1. So now take a common derivative. Uh, it's minus 5x minus 3y equal minus 15 goes to other direction. Then it's 5x minus 3y plus 15 equal to 0. So this is the equation of that straight line. So you can directly write down the uh, equation, right? So let uh, but we didn't uh, discuss the proof of that uh, equation, so we didn't we didn't prove that, right? We have to prove this. Uh, okay, let's see how to prove that. Okay, children, let's prove the equation, right? Uh, this is my straight line L, so I just need to find the equation. First of all, you just need to uh, find the uh, coordinates. This is a zero. This is zero b, right? So how to find the equation? So it is uh, first of all you have to find the gradient, right? So gradient mean y coordinate difference over x coordinates difference. Zero minus a. So it's basically minus b over a. This is my gradient, right? And 
and how to find the equation it is y minus y naught radiant into x minus x naught y minus y coordinate so y coordinate mean uh, so you can select any point so I assume this is x naught and y naught y minus y coordinate 0 minus b over a x minus x coordinate it's a right now I'm going to divide by y minus b equal minus 1 over a x minus a right so it's minus x over a plus 1 y over b right so then uh, it will be right it will be x over a plus y over b equal to 1 so this is the equation of the straight line when the uh, when the straight line intersect x axis at a point A, y axis at the point B. Okay, so what I did, I first found the gradient of that line and also I rewrite the equations using my y minus y naught equal m x minus x naught, right? Okay, children, so the next theorem is intersection of uh, intersection point of two straight lines. So so how to find the intersection point of two straight line so you have to assume these are my two straight lines ax plus by plus c equals zero right this is my other one my plus n equals zero so how to find that coordinate a so if you want to find that coordinate you have to rewrite it lx plus my plus n equals zero equation number one equation number two one and two should be solved as a as simultaneous simultaneous equations you have to solve one and two as a simultaneous equation so you will get the coordinates of the intersection point okay children <clears throat> this is my two straight lines right L1 and L2, L1 and L2. So I just need to find the the coordinates of the intersection point, right? So how to find this? Uh, solve it as a simultaneous equations, right? So equation number one multiplied by three, and the equation number two is multiplied by four. I'm just going to add it. Then it's nine x plus two L Y minus twenty one plus twenty x minus 2 and y minus 8 equals 0 right then 12y 12y getting cancelled 29 x equal 29 x will be 1 so this is the coordinate of the x coordinates of the intersection point right then how to find the y you have to substitute to here 3 into 1 plus 4y minus 7 equals 0 4y will be plus 4 y equal 1 so the intersection coordinate intersection coordinate will be 1 and 1 right 1 and 1 so this is the way of finding the intersection of uh, any uh, intersection the coordinates of the intersection point of uh, any uh, two straight lines right so the next thing is how to find the intersection of three straight lines right okay children now i want to find the intersection of three straight lines so the uh, okay so the process is same right you have to say select any two straight line and solve it simultaneously right solve it simultaneously and uh, find the intersection point right equation number one two and three right Okay, now I am going to uh, so simultaneously solve these two equations, right? Uh, I am going to 2 minus 3, x minus 2y plus 1 minus 3x plus 2y plus 1 equals 0. And 2y, 2y getting cancelled, minus x equal minus 2, therefore minus 2x minus 2x equal to plus minus 2 then x will be plus 1 so once x equal plus 1 mean y will be what 
y will be 2y 3 minus 1 over 2 3 minus 1 over 2 mean uh, y getting 1 right so the intersection point is 1 and 1 1 and 1 so I use these two equations to these two equations to find the intersection point the, but the problem is we didn't use the first equation so how can we say the third equation also satisfy the uh, that intersection point right so this is the other other uh, important thing right so once you find the intersection point you have to substitute that coordinate into the first equation right then 2x plus 3y minus 5 you have to substitute that coordinates right in 2 into 1 3 into 1 minus 5 it's getting 0 therefore point A is the intersection point point of the 3 straight lines right so this is my conclusion this is my uh, representation of the intersection point right the intersection point of three straight lines okay children so the next theorem is the next theorem is intersection angle between two straight lines right the intersection angle between two straight lines so how to find the intersection angle right so this is my cartesian coordinate plane x axis and y axis these are my two straight lines right two straight lines l1 and l2 right so i assume i assume parallel to the x axis this angle is alpha this angle is beta this angle is beta so how to find that intersection angle so this is my intersection angle so i assume it theta so this theorem i'm going to describe the intersection angle of a uh, of a two straight lines right okay so the theta mean theta mean beta minus alpha eh? so beta minus alpha theta mean intersection angle theta mean intersection angle intersection angle right so what is alpha what is beta you know uh, this is my straight line l1 so i assume gradient as m1 this is my other straight line i think the gradient is m2 right so gradients are m1 and m2 right so then then what happening over here this tan alpha will be m1 right this tan beta will be m2 right so this is my uh, angle theta so i just need to find the theta then i'm taking tan t tan for both sides tan theta tan beta minus alpha right tan beta minus alpha then it's tan beta minus tan alpha over 1 plus tan beta tan alpha. tan beta tan alpha right so then tan theta will be so the tan beta mean m2 tan alpha mean m1 over 1 plus m1 m2 this is my uh, angle of the two intersection uh, straight line so the other important thing is how uh, you know sometimes uh, this is m2 is a larger angle no beta sometimes if you can select alpha and beta right therefore i'm using modulus to convert it to in as a positive value right convert it as a positive value i'm just put the modulus for uh, the value right the if the uh, once you put the modulus sign so modulus mean the tan theta will be positive only. so the tan theta positive mean the angle is always uh, more than zero right so it doesn't matter always you can put the modulus uh, as a standard way right 
Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's discuss a uh, example, right? So this is my example. Three, uh, two x minus y uh, plus y minus four x plus three y equals zero. Find the intersection angle between these two straight lines. So I assume this is L one. This is L two, right? So what is the gradient of these two straight lines, right? So what is the gradient? This gradient m one will be minus two, right? This gradient m two will be minus one over three, minus one over three. So these are the gradients. So I just need to find the angle. So you have to as substitute the values to here. So this is my m one. Minus one over three minus minus two, right? Over one plus m one and m two minus one over three, right? So then minus 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 plus two minus one over three and one plus two over three, right? Take a common denominator. Then tan theta will be. Six minus one over three divided by five over three. Three three getting cancelled. So the angle is five divided by five. It's one. Tan theta one mean. Tan theta one mean theta getting forty five degrees. So this is the angle of the intersection angle of the uh, two straight lines, right? Okay. so you can try this homework as well okay so just assume now uh, if two straight lines are parallel to each other right if if two straight lines lines are parallel 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 then this theta will be Zero. No? Theta means zero mean tan theta zero, right? Tan theta zero mean therefore m one minus m two should be zero. M one should be m two. So if two straight lines are parallel, therefore uh, the <coughs> tan theta is getting zero, right? Now as you if two straight lines, if two straight lines. A perpendicular, perpendicular, perpendicular. Then theta getting ninety, right? So the tan ninety mean infinity, right? So it means one plus m one m two should be zero. Therefore, m one m two getting minus one. M one m two getting minus one. So this is the relation of a Uh, if the two straight lines are perpendicular and if the two straight lines are parallel, right? Okay, children. Let's move to an example. Find the equation of a straight line which perpendicular to two x plus four y minus eleven equals zero and passing through the point A one one. So, how to find the equation? Right. So, if this The straight line is perpendicular, right? If it is perpendicular to some, right? Then this gradient is m1, right? M1, m2 will be minus one. So m1 is basically minus two by four, it's minus half, it's minus half. Then m1 is minus half. This is m2 minus one. So m2 will be plus two, right? Then the equation. Y minus y two, m x minus x one. Y minus y coordinate is one. Radiant is again two. X minus x coordinate it's again one. Right then, y minus one, two x minus two. Y minus two x plus one will be zero. This is the equation of that unknown equation uh, unknown uh, straight line. So. 
uh, what I did, I found the gradient of the perpendicular straight line and I construct the equation of the uh, straight line, right? Okay, so this is the way of finding a uh, perpendicular uh, straight lines equation. Okay, children, let's move to our ne uh, next uh, theory part parametric representation of a straight line. So, why we are uh, using this parametric representation? Uh, right, uh, so the always uh, by using parametric representation, we can uh, find any coordinates of a, a given straight line, right? So, just assume this is my ax plus by plus c equals 0, right? Then the gradient will be minus a over b, no, right? So, I assume x naught and y naught right uh, a point is a point point on the line right therefore I'm going to re rewrite the equation y minus y naught equal m x minus x naught right right then y minus y naught the coordinates also y naught this is y naught no now. Gradient is minus a over b x minus x naught. Right? Now the minus a should be divided by this y minus y naught minus a x minus x naught over b. Right? So I am just making the ratio. Right? I am just making a ratio. You can assume the t. Right? So what is this t? t is the t is the para meter right t is the parameter now connect these two and these two then y minus y naught over minus a equal t then y will be y naught plus minus a t right and also x minus x naught over b equal to t x will be x naught plus b t right Therefore, P is can be written in x naught plus B T, y naught plus minus A T. So, P is known as the parametric coordinates of that straight line. So, the parametric coordinates of that straight line. P is known as the parametric uh, coordinates of the straight line, right? Okay, children. As an example, I selected I select that equation. So find the parametric equation of a straight line which has gradient minus three over four and passing through the point two five. So how to find it? So, so normally it's y minus y naught equal m x minus x naught, right? So y minus y naught means y minus y coordinate is five. Gradient is minus three by four x minus x coordinate is 2 ok then you should divide minus 3 x minus 2 equal t t is the parameter t is the parameter right now what we are going to do now I am just see, connect these two y minus y over minus 3 equal to t or x minus 2 over 4 equal to t therefore so y will be 5 minus 3 t x will be 2 plus 4 t right so p 2 plus 4 t 5 minus 3 t right parametric trick equation parametric equation okay so now i'm uh, i'm using some p t values uh, when t equal 1 t equal 2, t equal 3, find the coordinates. 
right here yeah, then right when t equals 1 so it's getting 6 over 1 it's 2 when t equals 2 then it's 8 it's 3 right when t equals 2 6 minus 1 minus 1 right uh, so uh, when t equals t equals 3 then 12 12 plus 2 it's 14 and 3 9 5 minus 9 is minus 4 these are the coordinates when t equals 1 t equals 2 t equals 3 right okay okay children this is my next sum find the parametric equation uh, when this when the straight line perpendicular to 4x plus 3y minus 17 equals 0 and passing through the point 2 3 okay so I assume the gradient is m1 right m1 will be minus 4 by 3 so m2 into m1 will be minus 1 so m2 will be 3 over 4 this is my perpendicular straight line right so now I'm going to write y minus y naught m x minus x naught right so this is my m2 that is what I need right and the coordinate is this one this is my coordinate y minus y coordinate gradient 3 over 4 x minus x coordinate it's 2 right y minus 3 over 3 x minus 2 over 4 equal to t right therefore y will be 3 plus 3t x will be 2 plus 4t this is the parametric equation of that straight line so the parametric equation of that straight line okay children this is my next example find the parametric equation when the straight line perpendicular to 4x minus 3y plus 2 and passing through the point 2 5 find the coordinates when t equals 0 t equal half okay so how to find that so i so again i assume the gradient as m1 gradient as m1 m1 m2 equal minus 1 so the gradient is m1 equal 3 4 by 3 you no know? minus 3 by 4 right then it's x minus y minus y naught equal m into x minus x coordinate y minus y coordinate is 5 radian minus 3 by 4 x minus x coordinate it is 2 Okay, so now you can continue, right? Now you can continue it. Uh, first find the parametric equation and substitute the t equals 0 and t equals half. 